Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about why I don't buy designer full price. And this video is actually in collaboration with Shop Tagger, which if you aren't familiar with them, and I have partnered with them before, it's essentially like a personal shopping assistant who helps you to get things on sale. So I'm going to talk about that in a moment but essentially um, you guys may have noticed that I do have a bit of a penchant for designer shoes in particular but I also love to spend a little bit more and get something that is really high quality but I don't necessarily want to be investing you know $600 on one item in my wardrobe it isn't really feasible it isn't practical especially because I do occasionally like to mix things up I might not necessarily hang on to things for years and years even though that is always my intention so I want to make sure that I'm able to get something that does speak to that quality that I'm after but it doesn't necessarily Necessarily come with the designer price tag attached to it. So I've got a couple of items that I have picked up recently using Shop Tagger, and I'm going to talk to you guys how that works. And I'm also going to do a little bit of styling with these items, and then I'm also going to talk about the other way that I get designer items for a fraction of the price as well. So essentially, to use Shop Tagger, you just need to download the add-on button for your app. I highly recommend using Google Chrome for this. And then when you're browsing the internet, just say you find an item that you really like, but it's just a little bit out of your price range. Or maybe you just want to have a little bit of a think about it. I like to apply a 30-day rule where I can to make sure that I'm really adding the best of the best to my wardrobe. You can add it to your Shop Tagger list. So you just click the button and then you select your size when you want to be notified about price drops or um, reductions in the price so you can either go any price change or you can set a percentage and then you can add it to a list and you'll see I've got quite a few lists here but I find that it really helps to keep everything in the right place so if there's a really nice handbag I want I'm going to add it to my handbag list I've also kind of created a wardrobe classics list because that's really where I'm trying to invest most of my money. In addition to notifying you about when an item goes on sale, you'll also receive a notification when an item comes back in stock, which is amazing, particularly if you've had your eye on something and maybe you've missed out. Now, when you're in the um, actual Shop Tagger platform, you can go through all of your lists, you can actually see what's on sale and what isn't, and you can share these lists with your friends and family if you've maybe got a birthday or some sort of special occasion coming up. So that is kind of how you use Shop Tagger. Now, the first thing that I kind of got, which I was so pleased that I got the email alert to tell me it was on sale, were a pair of shoes from Manso Gabrielle. Now, actually, both of these items you will have seen in my recent haul, but I just figured I'd kind of talk through them here. Um, so these are just a really lovely pair of gingham shoes. This is what they look like. They've got a nice low heel pointed toe and they're a slingback style. And I had originally seen these on Lizzie Hadfield from Shop From The Street. I will link her down below in case you guys aren't familiar with her channel, but she has a really cool kind of aesthetic. And when I spotted these on her, I knew I wanted to have them, but at full price, I feel like these retail for around the $700 mark. I just couldn't justify it. Luke and I recently bought a house, so more reason than ever to not be buying designer at full price price you know I've got a mortgage to pay now so I really need to make sure that I'm being smart with my money I added these to my list in the hopes that they would go on sale and I actually wasn't sure whether or not I was going to be able to snap them up because I had seen that there were low stock in most sizes but I figured I'd just <laughs> go for it anyway see if I got lucky so when I received the email to let me know that these had gone down in price they're actually in the net-a-porter sale which I have done a whole blog post on I'm gonna link that down below as well in case you guys want to check it out I immediately jumped on them I was pretty chuffed because I managed to pick them up for 40% off which I think is a really reasonable discount and I absolutely adore them I haven't had an opportunity to wear them just yet because it has been pouring down with rain in Sydney but definitely going to be throwing these on this week so I will show you guys a couple of the ways that I'm planning on styling these but I think they're gonna look really gorgeous just with a nice tailored trouser and an oversized sweater which is kind of my go-to uniform at the moment and I also think that these will look really beautiful in the summertime too with a little white dress or something like that or even just like some cute denim shorts and a white blouse I think these would dress them up a lot so that was the first thing that I picked up using Shop Tagger. And then the second item was also in that haul as well. And it's actually an oversized knit sweater, which I seem to have a little bit of an addiction to at the moment. Now this sweater I actually got via the Iconic and it's from an Australian label called Assembly Label. 
and it's just this oversized oatmeal wool sweater and this is so cozy and snuggly and warm and honestly it's actually not the most expensive item so this isn't technically designer but <laughs> um, it was 130 for retail and I got it for $90 uh, the iconic we're doing I believe was either a 25 or a 30 percent off discount I got the alert through uh, shop tagger that there was a discount on at the time so I immediately went and snapped it up so this is something I've been wearing a lot with white denim I just feel like it pairs really effortlessly either worn tucked in or just loose but I also like the way that this pairs with skirts as well so just a nice little mini skirt and I think this will be a really great transitional piece as we move into the spring as well here in Sydney so those were the two items that I picked up using shop tagger and I actually did a whole haul um, a whole come online shopping with me at the beginning of this year where I showed you how I use the platform to actually shop my list so I will link that up here in case you guys would like to go and check that one out now the other way that I pick up designer items at a fraction of the price is going through the pre-loved market now you guys will probably know I am no stranger to eBay I absolutely love scouring eBay and snapping up those archival pieces which I've had my eye on for years it always just like fills me with joy I think it's kind of that thrill of the hunt and then as soon as you find that item that you've been looking for you know you kind of feel like it was all worth it um, so I use eBay a lot which I think is really good you just need to make sure that you are paying particular attention to all the details look at all the photos ask for measurements if they're not listed ask the seller questions if you have any um, I highly recommend doing that because sometimes I've bought things and when I haven't asked questions, if it's not listed, sometimes you end up getting something that you don't quite expect. So do make sure that you scrutinize those purchases. Then I also like to go for consignment stores as well. And my favorite one is The Real Real. You guys probably already know this because I tend to feature quite a few items that I've picked up from there. And two of my favorite items that I've bought probably in the last six to eight months have to be this really beautiful silk pleated top from Elizabeth and James and I actually managed to get this brand new with a tags and hatch which is a huge tip make sure you keep an eye out for that because a lot of the time on the real real items are in pristine condition so I really loved this I love the fact that it's kind of got the floaty flouncy hemline the balloon sleeves with the elastic around the wrist which just helps to cinch things in and gives it a little bit more of a boho feel and then it has this tie detail at the back which I actually feel like you could probably wear this top either way so it's got a little bit of versatility and this top is still available in a slightly different style so I will link the current uh, style down below if you guys would like to check it out but I just feel like this was such a great find and this is the kind of thing that I I have worn with trousers I just think it looks really nice and effortless just worn loose but I also feel like this will look really gorgeous in the spring and summertime tucked into a pair of high-waisted denim shorts just with some sandals or my two-tone Benelli pumps I think that would be a really cute little combo and then one of my other favorite scores and this this is designer on a budget I swear this is this tan linen blazer from Chloe and I feel like I managed to snap this up for less than $200 which is an absolute steal it is in excellent condition it really looked like it was almost new when I received it which I was so impressed by and I feel like this is a really cool addition to my wardrobe I didn't really have anything like this and it's a really nice warm toned brown very neutral color which I know will go with a lot of different items well which I know goes with a lot of different items in my closet and I do love the little tortoiseshell button detail as well uh, I just think it's really lovely it's a single breasted style and it is a little bit oversized which I quite like I have worn this quite a bit with just a simple tee and high-waisted jeans with a little pointed toe pump which is kind of my go-to and I've also worn this over dresses as well I just think it's quite a sweet combination particularly as this has more of a masculine silhouette to it so those are kind of I guess two of my favorite pre-loved purchases that I've bought recently there are a couple of other retailers as well out there like you can get pre-loved on places like Poshmark, Depop, uh, Vestia Collective so I will put in the description box some links to other consignment stores and pre-loved retailers so that you can go and check them out in case you would be interested. The thing for me is that while I love 
buying quality items I don't necessarily think that it's always worth it to spend the full retail price so if I can get something on sale then I definitely will or where I can buy it pre-loved then I will do that too because I also feel like it's a lot more ethical uh, it means less items are going into landfill it means that items are getting repurposed and reused and loved and going to a new home which is something that I really stand by and it's also something that always really resonates with me when it comes to buying pre-loved or second hand. Anyway that is a little bit of an insight into why I don't buy design at full price. Obviously there is the odd exception but for the most part I always try and get it on sale. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye!